When was the last time you made some killer kebabs? Steak and veggie skewers can be so flavorful when you grill them on an open fire. Those smoky charred edges from the proteins and veggies go so well together. And when you serve them on a plate topped with some homemade creamy cilantro lime ranch, we are talking next level Flavorville here. So hop on board our next Starship, because we're cooking this all here on Al Luna Secui. Welcome back guys and gals, I'm Al Lunacy, this is Al Lunacy Queuing. Today we have for you a skewer video and it's going to be a classic kebab uh, recipe that I've always enjoyed throughout the years. Uh, on top of that, we are also giving away a Flapster skewer set and that's going to be done on our next Tuesday night live stream. So make sure you join us for that. All the details are on the video description. But for now, let's get to the recipe. Supplying us today with our cutting board is Cooler Kitchens and I really have to say that this is the coolest cutting board I've seen. Made from bamboo, this cutting board features an inner slot that holds various cutting mats. There's one for tomatoes or veggies. There's another one for fish or seafood. There's another one for beef and proteins. And another one for bananas or fruits. Another one for chicken. And finally, there's one for cutting breads. We place our green mat down since we are cutting our veggies first, which will be red onions and green peppers. But before we cut our veggies, let me showcase our knife. Today we are using a beautiful chef's knife supplied to us by Hast. This 8 inch chef's knife features a modern design, sleek to the touch and perfectly balanced when you hold it in your hand. This Japanese style blade is sharp, durable and made from matrix powder steel. If I could only have one knife in my kitchen, it would be this one. Let's start with cutting our red onion. We are cutting both ends off first, then we will cut it in half. Next, we will discard the two outer skins of the onion on both sides. And finally, we'll cut the onion into quarters. This method ensures that you are getting the tastiest core of the onion and no tough skin or root ends in your kebab. Next, let's cut our green bell pepper. Notice I start the cut at the stem and just rotate the pepper to cut it. Then I just pull the rest of the pepper apart and pull off the stem part as well. We make sure to clean off the seeds from the inside, then we cut the pepper into 1 8 cuts. So each pepper should give you 8 pieces. All done with our veggies, now let's cut our meat. Today we'll be using an HEB Prime Chuck Steak for our kebabs. We are going to cut our chuck steak into half lengthwise, then we'll go ahead and cut it one more time into quarters lengthwise. Then we'll turn it to its side and cut it into cubes. About an inch and a half to two inch cubes is sufficient. Next we'll cut our sausage and we're going to cut our sausage diagonally so that we'll get some longer cuts. And finally the last protein that we have for our kebabs is bacon. So we go ahead and give two inch cuts to that and we are good. Today's star of the show is Flapster's skewer set. They come in this handy black and red carrying case. And opening up the pouch we have a warranty card. Taking out a skewer you will see that they are made from high quality 304 stainless steel. A unique feature of the skewer is the handle slide forward to empty out the skewer when your food is done. They come in a set of eight and once again we will be giving away one of these sets on my next Tuesday night barbecue chat. So let's season up our steak. We are using my buddy Arnie Texas brisket rub. I love the coarse ingredients in this rub. I highly recommend it. To order yours check out his website at www.pitmasters.us. Our steak is all seasoned and we have our steak and veggies on the skewers. Let's make our cilantro lime ranch. This takes one pouch of your ranch salad dressing powder, one cup of milk, one cup of your favorite mayonnaise, a handful of cilantro, and the juice of one third of a lime. Put it all in the blender for a few minutes. Once it turns liquidy and all the cilantro is cut well, then pour it in a container and then chill it in the fridge. We're finally all done in the kitchen. Let's go outside and start grilling these kebabs. We got our Kebabs here. Let's open up the pit. Ideally, you want these to be sticking outside from the pit. If you have to, just push them a little bit away. I probably should have done that to this one and this one. There we go. There we go. I'll get you guys in on a close up here. Doesn't that look pretty cool? These will be done quick. Tell us how this thing is flat. Let's test to see if uh, these rotate. See, great. Excellent. So, we're getting a char on 
on the meat. Oh, careful. Yeah. Gotta get this sausage to so it won't burn. There you go. Alright guys, I'm gonna take you in on a close up. Can't be in there too long because this thing heats up and the camera starts to freeze. But I think we're ready. Ready as we'll ever be. Total cook time was 45 minutes. Let's put these in a pan so we can take them inside. And you can see the bacon that charred in between the, uh, the sausage that we had on top. Guys, we're all done. I put them in a new pan and we're gonna take them inside. We're gonna dip a little bit of that cilantro ranch. With them. Once on a pan, we took them inside. We did a little bit of that slide action on the skewer and served our steak and proteins on a plate. Then we topped it with that cilantro lime ranch. Creamy, cold, chilled, tore one of those steaks apart and put it in my mouth. Delicious. So guys and gals, this here is my favorite classic kebab recipe. I've been making it for years and most of my friends can attest to that. Now don't forget that the links for the products shown here today are in the video description if any interest you. They will also be listed on my Amazon storefront after the video if you ever want to go back and purchase them. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope you guys and gals are enjoying these beginning days of fall. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, take care of yourself and each other. We'll see you on the next one.